just for a bit of light. Oh, the trail bikes. Now, Robbie's, uh, now Rob, I Robbie's was a, excellent adventure. Robbie's as, excellent adventure. As I, you guys called it. That's exactly what we called it. I was a cub reporter, Mick, believe it or not, back then. Gee. Young and... and uh, it was 95, it was. 95. It was. 1995. What's that? It 20, was two weeks before Aaron Slight's wedding. 27 years. I started in motorbike journalism in 94, so it was 95. So one of the first... My first job, first job was interviewing you, which was fucking harrowing, I must admit, because you... You have spent a long time trying not to let people know what a nice bloke you are. Greg, um, I, look, I don't <laughs> want to crush your ego, but I can't remember that at all. I remember. Nothing well, that's what right. I mean. I walked in. Anyway, uh, Robbie rings up. Uh, the first time I spoke to you, I was working for AMCN. It was a KR 250, remember? I was yes. doing a story on KRs. 80, 80, 84. You raced one. Yeah. So I rang you up. Anyway, you were your usual f- friendly self and helpful. You know, I mean that. You were nice to me. Oh. So then <laughs> a, about a year later, Robbie rings up AMCN and says, look, I've I got this idea. And he says, because I, 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 he's always going to make some money, you know, he's got a few, I'm going to do the, I've got an iron in the fire and, and, and he, a popular bloke. So he said, what I want to do is run this tour company, Mick. We'll go up the, up the bush and people can come riding with me, Robbie Phyllis, and I'll take them up through the bush and they can pay some money. And before you know it, you, you know, I'm a wealthy man. Would you mind coming up and riding with a couple of your mates with me? So, you know, dirt bikes and I have never been great friends, but we, I could bullshit my way through it. So, oh, up we go. There's Robbie. He's got this Fenicum. It's the oldest XR250. It was an 89 model. It was a, it looked like. It cost $1,900. It, it was right? going to be great when it was finished. And it felt looked like it had fallen off a truck. So here's Robbie on that thing, right, out riding all of us. Oh, he puts me on a Husqvarna 125 two-stroke. Oh, you know, all, all I remember is trying to climb a hill, flipping it about eight times, and him throwing rocks at me from the top saying, you pussy. <laughs> this is him going to... He, yeah, he's, he's a nurturer. He's a nurturer. nurturer. Bringing me along slowly. So this is the bloke that's going to be the entrepreneur... Who's and, gonna? And he's gonna host these. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine European riders coming out that were used to riding around quiet streets in Milan? Mm. He's gonna take them on these tours. So anyway, we, I've flipped this thing about eight times. This is in the first hour, and Robbie's going, "How do you reckon this is going?" I'm going, well, it's a bit hard. I broke my thumb in the first ten minutes. <laughs> That's killing me. Anyway, we get down, come down a hill, and Robbie's throwing rocks at people and swearing at people, and I'm thinking this is probably not going over <laughs> as well as it could. So we hit this raging torrent. It looked like the Colorado. So Robbie apparently had crossed it a week before and he said, this will be all right. I said, Robbie, mate, I said, Evil Knievel couldn't jump that. I said, you can't take punters through this. He said, it's all right, don't worry about that. Look at that. Crocodiles in there, what are you worried about? If I can get this NXR through there, you can get your mang and LC4. (laughs) Sure enough, off he goes. He gets a metre in and eight metres down. So he's underwater. We've fished him out, it's sort of pumped him full of it. Three hours later, emptying out his XR, get to the pub at the end of the night. I've got a broken thumb. I never want to see a dirt bike again. Anyone else, that's, they're just traumatised. They're walking around with dinner plates. How do you reckon it'll go, Snag? What do you think about my business? Well, <laughs> Needless to say, the tour got... business didn't quite... Yeah, but what about the pub? How good was that? Oh, it was fantastic. And there was almost a party trick <laughs> there, but we, we didn't... Yeah, we, yeah, we didn't get to the we party didn't, trick. I was no. asking for the party no, trick, no, Rob. No, no. But it's but, a family show. Yeah, it was a family show. But the next day, we were going to go and do the big ride, weren't we? But we... I had a broken thumb and everyone yeah. had too much of a headache. And everyone had a hangover. It was but look, something fierce. I remember it. it fondly, but I just... It yeah. was one of those business ideas that you had... Yeah. That one I thought many that I've heard. Yeah. Many. Have you got any... That you oh. could share with us, with that, Robbie's. Well, there's the time. You know, that was two weeks before Aaron Slight's wedding, right? And that bike got stolen while I was at Aaron's wedding, which probably wasn't a bad thing. The guy crashed it and set fire to it. <laughs> well, that probably improved it from what I could have seen of it. It's, it's horn. <laughs>